Hey everyone, it's Jason and this is your weekend cruise news update and stranded travelers were rescued by a cruise ship, a cruise line issues a warning on bad advice, and how early is too early to book your next cruise. So cruise story number one, imagine you travel to a remote island out in the Pacific and while you're there, your only means of getting back home goes out of business. So this is what happened in Santo Vanuatu. This is a Pacific Island chain off of the Australian coast. Now it's about 1600 miles from Sydney, Australia. Now to kind of give you a picture of this, that would be the same distance from Orlando to Denver, Colorado. So it is a quite of a distance. So people were stranded because Air Vanuatu basically went into liquidation. They have no more flights being flown. As you can see, here's the warning on their webpage. So many people are stuck there. Other people are having to go to Fiji somehow on a boat or another island hopper to get back from Fiji. It's costing people thousands of dollars. So about two weeks ago, the P&O ship, they actually rescued 16 people. And this past week, the Carnival Splendor stopped there and rescued eight Australians, one New Zealander that were stranded there. They had no means to get home. What a great thing the carnival did. And what's nice is, is they got to finish out the whole entire cruise because this was a nine day Pacific Island cruise that started in Australia, ended it in Australia. So they actually got to enjoy part of the cruise. No one really said whether they paid for this or didn't, but Carnival Corporation made sure that they took care of their folks there that are from Australia and New Zealand. I think it's a pretty wild story. Uh, have you ever been to Vanuatu? Uh, the, when I did some research, the islands look absolutely gorgeous. Let me know if you've ever been there. So cruise story number two, how early is too early to book your next cruise? And I'm seeing this question asked a lot. And what's interesting is I think cruise lines have done, unfortunately, a masterful job of creating FOMO, fear of missing out. They're doing these marketing campaigns. Hey, book early, get the best price, the best cabin, and we'll give you some shipboard credit. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you need to pay attention to one thing, and I'm seeing this on all the boards, is make sure you're booking a refundable deposit. Now, here is the interesting thing. With Royal Caribbean and Celebrity, they normally offer a much more reduced rate on your cruise fare for a non-refundable deposit versus a refundable deposit. So how do you get around that? Well, a couple people offered some advice. They said, hey, look, if you're going to be on Royal Caribbean or Celebrity, make sure to do one thing. Make sure to book a future cruise booking. That way, at worst, you're out $200 over $500 to $1,000. I thought that was a very interesting tip. Do you use that? The other thing they said is, hey, some travel agents seem to work the deals and they can close the gap between a refundable fare and a non-refundable fare two years out. Let me know how you get around this in the comments. So before I get to cruise story number three, I would ask that you please like this video as it does help the channel grow. Also consider subscribing as we're on the path to 100,000 subscribers by the time we go on our Alaskan cruise in August. If you could do that for me, I would greatly appreciate it. So cruise story number three, and this is a warning about Facebook groups. So John Hill, the brand ambassador for Carnival Cruise Line, once again warned people about inaccurate information from a Facebook group. He seems like he does this once or twice a week at least. And now this time is this stool right here on the Mardi Gras, the Celebration, and the Jubilee. He said this is not to be a cooler as the information was put out there on one of the Facebook groups. It is for dry goods, it's for storage, it's for sitting on, and you can flip it over and it can be a table. That is not to be a cooler. It will not keep drinks cold. And many times it leaks. It's interesting to me is how much bad information is out there. And John Hild has to correct. Now, one suggestion, if you're looking for a good board on, you know, Carnival, I would go to Reddit. 
they have a really good board. I'll make sure to link it in the description. Also, you can just go to the regular cruise board. There's a lot of people to put good information out there. And when someone puts bad information out there, they get called out. They absolutely do. That's where I go a lot of times just to check out information. And you'll find categories for princess, celebrity, Royal Caribbean, etc. And just note, the bigger they are, you know, if you see they're in the top 5% of Reddit boards, you're going to know that you're going to get a lot of good information in there. So have you ever seen some bad information or taken bad advice from one of these Facebook groups? Let me know. One other warning too is if you set up a cruise specific one, be very careful of some of the scams out there for excursions and selling gift cards because they had to cancel their cruise. We're seeing a lot of those kind of things out there for the groups for specific cruise dates. So let's say you have a cruise next week and you're on a cruise Facebook post or board. So be careful of those also. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much for the support. And until I talk to you next week, happy cruising.